Experts in Arizona are worried about an increase in wildlife deaths from wet rat poison. Cronkite News reporter Nicole Randa examines why they say this common pest control treatment is having a negative impact on our ecosystem. Though it's one of the most common raptors in the United States, many of Arizona's great horned owls are dying. The culprit, according to Arizona Game and Fish, is rat poison. We see uh, rodenticide related poisonings quite frequently, yes, unfortunately. Ironically, using certain types of pest control to kill rodents can accidentally kill the very thing that keeps the rat population in check. Owls. In reality, great horned owls are probably one of the best, con best pest control agents out there. And um, if we would just let them do their job, so to speak, I think we would have fewer problems with some of the rodent species that people are always complaining about. Through necropsies, the Arizona Game and Fish Department identified more than 50 cases of wildlife poisoning from pest control chemicals since 2011. Poisons used to kill rodents, called rodenticides, affect the entire wildlife food chain. When a rodent ingests the poison, it becomes lethargic and turns into easy prey. The owls that eat those rats suffer from secondary poisoning, Allen says. When great horned owls, such as the ones behind me, ingest rodenticide, their bodies can no longer clot blood and fully heal, which results in excessive bruising and bleeding from their nose, lungs, and other organs. No animal is immune to the dangers of rodenticides, including coyotes, foxes, dogs, and cats. We are only seeing pretty much the tip of the iceberg. The size of the problem is much bigger than the number of cases that we're actually seeing. Allen says there may be more cases because there are no tests to determine if a live owl is poisoned and the state doesn't perform a necropsy on every dead owl. But Don Calloway, owner of Arizona Organic Pest and Termite Control, disagrees. So in my time in business, I've never experienced a case personally of secondary poisoning from a rodenticide. Calloway says his company does try to reduce exposure to rodenticides by using other methods such as snap traps and repellents. But sometimes those methods aren't enough to get rid of the rodents. There are absolute situations that without rodenticides, we're not going to be able to, to have any impact. We're not going to be able to really get an, any kind of effective control. In Cave Creek, Nicole Randock, Cronkite News. Well, rodenticide poisoning isn't just an Arizona problem. The Environmental Protection Agency has banned rodenticide manufacturers from selling some of the more toxic chemicals to residential consumers nationwide.